Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Chicago at the Morning Star Conference. I'm here with John Fair and Dan Draper from Invesco PowerShares. Gentlemen, welcome. Good to see you. Great, Great to, be, to be with you. We want to jump right to it. You folks are in your second year of an institutional study regarding smart beta adoption. John, tell us a little bit about what the study has shown. Sure. Yeah, you know, we've actually this uh, partnered with Market Strategies International. This is the second year in which we partnered on such a study, and really pretty fascinating to look at the uh, uh, the evolution of attitudes towards and utilization of exchange traded funds. A couple stats that jump, jumped out to me was just in one short year the degree to which uh, early adopters have increased their allocation to smart beta ETFs, actually doubled in just one year. Uh, we've also seen a, a, a much broader uh, application in terms of the number of institutions and managers that are using uh, uh, smart beta ETFs. So depth and breadth certainly moving forward uh, on smart beta. The other element that I would really focus in on is just the degree to which uh, investors are looking at the importance of the underlying index methodology, and really that being one of the key criteria. When we look at traditional uh, ETFs, uh, fees, liquidity, and so forth, those are important to institutional decision makers, but that underlying index methodology and understanding what the ramifications and implications are uh, for their portfolio is really critical for them to understand. Dan, you, your team works closely with thousands of advisors yes, on absolutely. a regular basis and you know kudos to advisors who were early adopters of mm. ETFs and it seems like they were there before institutions. Yes. Now that institutions are catching up, kind of downplaying their uh, allocation to hedge funds, doing mm. more index-based investing, a, a study like this really helps because we can, as advisors yeah. can garner from this study Absolutely. to kind of mimic some of the things that the smart money's doing. Is that right? Absolutely. If you think about a traditional mutual fund, ironically, if you're in the fund, more people kind of come in and out, yeah. it could be some dilution to you. Not necessarily a good thing in all cases. An ETF, more to the party, tighter spreads, usually lower transaction costs. So ironically, you know, we, we have this, this great product and as you mentioned, institutions were kind of early in the spiders and the queues back in the old days, but then there's really advisors over the last decade who overwhelmingly moved in here, but because of a lot of macro factors, uh, you know, less you know, solutions coming out of banks, for example, many institutional managers, as surveys you know, have pointed to, are looking towards ETFs as a source of not only tactical solutions, but also for you know, some of the core strategies they implement. And again, I think this, this renewed interest by, by institutions for risk management purposes, uh, you know, to, to, uh, to be able to get exposure to newer markets they have in the past just brings more liquidity and more participants that we think a better marketplace. Absolutely. If people want to get a copy of this study, can they go to investcopowershares.com? They can, and we we'll certainly reach out to us and we'll be happy to, to make that available to them. That's great. Absolutely. John, Dan, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you, Tom. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Tom.